Why, hello everyone! Big Gay Circle Vibes here. So, um, it's been a while. It's been a minute since I've actually, you know, made a video. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> but, um, this is gonna be a special, spicy, juicy type of video this week. Hot takes on the furry fandom. I want to give my hot takes. Some of these I don't think should be hot takes, but they are because the furry fandom can be so backwards. Um, but yeah, let's. I think we should just get into it. But also, someone else will be joining me today to share their their hot takes too. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy. Please don't get too offended. Um, but yeah, I think we should. You know get into it <laughs> our first off is minors should not have ad accounts i feel like this one should be obvious but for some reason people think that we're bullying minors or you know um saying that this limits minors freedom of speech um minors should not have an after dark account i feel like that's very self-explanatory because it leaves them open for pedophiles and even if they may not think it and may oh it'll never happen to me Anyone who has the mindset of, oh, it will never happen to me, is not open to the signs of when th what things can actually happen. You're not keeping your wits about you, and that puts you in a lot of danger. That is probably one of the most toxic and most dangerous mindsets you could ever have, is to, oh, it will never happen to me. Because let's be honest, when you think that, you're you're left vulnerable, and that's just, that's just a fact. And you know, you need to keep yourself safe online. And that is just something that you need to do. There's so many stories of, unfortunately, of children getting hurt online, especially with on uh, online nowadays. It is something that should be protected and not everyone has the privilege of parents that are gonna be looking out for them or know the signs. So I guess it's up to us for us to inform them that, hey, this behavior is dangerous and can put you in harm's way. And I feel, and having an AD account when you're underage is just something that you shouldn't have. And I feel like that should be self-explanatory, but you know, of course, people still think that, oh, you guys are bullying minors for telling them, oh yeah, they can't be like this publicly. Well, I'm sorry, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, we just want to protect children, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, let's just be fuzzy, ooh, ooh, and actually you know not do something that's actually helping the fandom and not leaving them in harm's way just a thought next i'm going to be talking about mercuring oh this is such a spicy topic whenever you bring this up let me give my opinion it is completely okay you know why because as long as it's two consenting adults and you're not engaging in any sort of paraphilia and everyone's consenting everything's fine everything's fine and also once it's not in public once you're not doing it publicly and you're doing it behind closed doors who fucking cares as long as you you know you don't go out in that suit and you have a separate bodysuit or whatever you need separate for whatever activities you're doing in suit it is completely okay i have no problem with it i don't know why it's such a you know spicy thing you know everyone's like this brings you know bad coverage of our fandom and you know they're gonna latch onto it and blah 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 and everyone's gonna think that we're into sexual shit and everything and blah 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 you know what well, we could be known for a lot worse things zoophilia pedophilia animal abuse we could be known for a lot worse this one some people are gonna get a bit gotta get it gonna get angry at me for this one I feel I can just I can just feel it baby furs they're okay no, okay well, just, just just listen to me just listen to me for one minute specifically age regressors not people with really D DL type shit if that makes sense once they're not really getting any sexual gratification from you know being a baby is that's when I'm like, oh, okay, that's a bit. I don't know if I like that. That that that, that just crosses the line for me. But when it becomes age regressors, which is very similar to puppy play, where you know you're going into the space of when you were when you were a child, 
and you know you do childlike activities. I feel like that is perfectly okay because a lot of it is actually from, say, for example, a lot of people who do this, um, it is a form of dealing and coping with trauma. This is a way of them dealing with their trauma, and it's been shown that this is not a dangerous behavior as, lo as long as, you know, they're doing it in little bits. It is completely okay, and I feel like it's completely okay, and it makes a whole lot of sense. Also, some transgender people also will go into the space, as it's known as little space, for reasons of, you know, they couldn't, you know, have a childhood where they were the gender that they identify as, and they were forced to go through a childhood where they were forced to do things with the sex that they were assigned as first. So I feel like that is something that we should really be listening to. And, you know, so if someone's a baby for they not they probably not always doing it for sexual gratification, but more just being an age regressor, which, you know, you got to know the difference between the two. This one's just really stupid. And I just want to say it because no one else talks about it. Foxes are more popular than wolves as a species for our fursona. And next is one that some people may disagree with me on, and you know what, I can kind of understand where they're coming from, so if you disagree with me on this, I can completely understand where you're coming from, but I still stand by my opinion, and that is that the furry fandom is in fact getting better and not worse. I tend to be very pessimistic with the fandom, and that's just me trying to be funny and also just with me and how I feel about the fandom sometimes. But I'm still here for the good reason of that I do love this fandom and I want it to improve. And you know what? I think that this fandom is improving. I feel like we are, you know, way more open about talking about topics. About with the whole don't have cacti situation, cure the wolf and all that horrible, horrible stuff. I feel like we're still, you know, very good about this. And I still feel like that that we are talking about it more and i feel like that is great we are showing people we will not tolerate this behavior and i feel like we are getting better especially from the 90s and to the mid 2000s and now to now i feel like we are getting so much better as a fandom especially because when you know with the whole burn first situation that was trying to push lgbt out of the fandom which now has majorly backfired and now 80 percent of the community is lgbt and then to you know back in the day where, you know, when stuff like Growly and all that, that had happened, you know, people were very hush-hush and people, you know, didn't talk about these types of things. And now that we are talking about these things, the fandom is taking action, and I feel like that is absolutely fantastic. So, overall, those are just all, my ta all of my takes. But, as I said, someone else also wants to give their hot takes. So take it away, Dipper. Hi, everyone. I'm Defective Dipper. And I'll also be sharing some of my own unpopular furry opinions as well. My first opinion is that a lot of furries are clout chasers and they make a lot of bewares and bring up past dramas with other furries just for clout. Especially if the other furry has a really big following. Um, I think that assault and grooming, that kind of stuff, none of that is actually drama in the fandom. That's a serious issue. So that's something different than like clout chasers. My second opinion is that furries who are 18 plus can be friends with furries who are minors. It can be done. Just make it safe for work, please. Another opinion I have is that people with smaller makers, or people that are commissioned smaller makers, need to be more patient with them. And you know, if you're charging $200 for a fursuit hat, don't expect it to be, you know, as, as high of a quality as you know, a first maker that's going to be charging $1,200 just for a hat. Another thing, most popular first makers that have like, you know, the name brand, I guess you could say, type of suits, that are charging $6,000 for a first suit, I think that's way overpriced. Like, I could see like $3,000, whatever, but like $6,000, you're literally doubling that. I, I don't think you should be charging that much for a first suit. My last opinion is that some more of the uh, left wing or liberal furries need to stop attacking some conservative furries. Like we're all in this fandom together, we may have different opinions, and we're all here for one common thing, this furry. So just because someone has different political beliefs than you, doesn't mean you have to go out of your way to say that they're not welcome on your page. Obviously if you're supporting something that's like, Illegal? Yes. 
clearly, but you know, if they're just having a little difference of opinion than you, why should it matter? Why are you attacking them? Stop doing it. Wow, Dipper. You're a brave soul. You are a brave soul. <laughs> I will leave their links to their social media down below. I watched a few of their videos. Their videos are absolutely awesome. You guys should go check them out. Um, please don't attack them for their opinions. If you do, I will block you. Um, I will report you. Um, <laughs> but no, seriously, do not attack them for their opinions. I mean that wholeheartedly. Please do not attack them for their opinions. And yeah, um... That's really all I have to say for this video. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Go fuck yourselves.